Hello, kids, and welcome to your science second. Did you hear that? What was that? Oh, it's a frog croaking. Have you ever thought about how frogs croak, or thought about why frogs croak? Well, you're in luck because today's science second is all about frogs. So you're out exploring the woods. And you hear the distinct sound of a frog croaking. But how does the frog do it? Well, before we explore how frogs croak, let's talk about why frogs croak. Surprisingly, only male frogs croak. The male frog croaks for two reasons. The first reason is to attract a female frog to mate with. Male animals trying to impress females is common. For example, the male peacock spreads its beautiful feathers when he sees a female peacock he'd like to mate with. The second reason frogs croak is to keep other male frogs from their territory. Male animals protecting their land is another common behavior. Sometimes lions roar to warn others that this is their property. And sometimes dogs bark at other dogs to tell them that this is their house. <coughs> Now we know that frogs croak for two reasons: to attract females and to protect their territory. Now let's explore how frogs croak. In order to croak, frogs push air from their lungs into their throats. This air makes their vocal cords vibrate and produce a sound. Humans push air from our lungs to make our vocal cords vibrate too, just like in frogs. But humans get a different result from vibrating their vocal cords. When our vocal cords vibrate, we sing or talk. And when frogs' vocal cords vibrate, they croak. Sometimes you can hear frogs from very far away. How do they make such a loud sound? Frogs have a special body part dedicated just to this task, called a vocal pouch. By inflating or deflating the vocal pouch, just like a balloon, frogs can make louder or softer croaking noises. So far, we've learned three things: one, frogs croak to attract females and protect their land; two, frogs croak by pushing air from their lungs, which makes their vocal cords vibrate. And three, frogs have a special vocal pouch to make louder and softer croaking sounds. But why is it so important to know all of this about frogs? To find out why it's important to study frogs, I asked Dr. Roland Knapp, a frog expert who works at the Marine Science Institute in California. They're really important in ecosystems because they're oftentimes really abundant. And as top predators in those systems, or at least high-level predators, they can have effects on prey that is below them in the food web, and they can also have effects on the predators above them in the food web. So, as Dr. Knapp stated, frogs are part of our delicate ecosystem. So, if the number of frogs in the environment changes, this would affect the bugs that the frogs eat, and the animals that eat the frogs. That means that an imbalance of frogs could affect even you and me. On today's science second, we learned all about frogs and their croaking behavior. So next time you hear a frog croak, think back to how and why they do this behavior. This is Crystal for your science second signing off.